and my father called someone to cast a horoscope. This was 1945, long before any of you were born. Sir, were you born already? 46. 46? Okay, you were not around my house. <laughs> and they predicted all these things. I was never told. But when I was about 20, 27, 28, when I discovered my final Sufi master, I asked him, when I was born, there were these signs. And you know what he said? He had never met my father. He said, when you are about to be born, your father made a prayer in the name of a very famous sage. I went back to Penang and I asked my father, and he said, yes. He gave the name of the sage and told me to do certain things if ever I go to the tomb. So a lot of things that happened to me were very spiritual in nature, guiding me to what I am today. So I'm not a graduate. I failed my form file with horrible results in Penang. So that's the reason why I left Penang, because I didn't want to embarrass my school. And I came to KL in 1964. Tarik was 10 cents, was 10 cents. So I, of course, my pay was 100 ringgit. So it needs some time. But survive. And today, uh, you can go to Google, and Google my name, and find out a lot of things. I lectured in so many universities all over the world, including Singapore and NTU, where I was a visiting scholar. Can you imagine? 